In Haiti, walking is a way of life. Walking is transportation. Children walk miles every day to transport heavy buckets of water back to their homes. They come from all around Tomazo, the town. They, they, they stay in villages far. They'll walk over here daily. They'll walk miles because they have no money to pay cars and they have no other transportation but to walk. They walk long distances to the market where they purchase food and other supplies twice a week. The shoes these kids are wearing, there's no support. I want them to have good shoes or choice of another pair of shoes to walk on these rocks. The shoes that are available to them do not hold up on the rugged terrain, and some don't even have shoes. Since the earthquake January 12th, millions of Haitians are walking for their lives. If you caught yourself out here at nighttime, police catch you, you might wind up dead because they don't want nobody to walk around nighttime because it's very dangerous. They are searching for safety, shelter, and medical aid, and will continue to do so for a long time to come. Mona Purdy and Share Your Souls have been delivering shoes to Haiti since 2001, but now the need is more urgent than ever before. Even when there isn't a disaster here, walking on this ground here causes damage. It causes damage to their feet, their spine. They'll get an infection here that'll, it'll become an abscess and it'll damage them for the rest of their life. Shoes aren't their only means of transportation. Shoes get them to water, for food, for church, just to go visit somebody. Shoes can change someone's life in a big way. And there is nowhere more in need right now than in Haiti. Shoes bring comfort, safety, and dignity to those that receive them. But it's not all about the shoes. When you choose to make a difference in an innocent child's life, you bring love, hope, and a sense of belonging into their life, as well as your own. <laughs>